Again, with that breaking news, shocking developments today from Governor Rick Snyder and the Flint water crisis. We are now learning about a possible link to Legionnaire's disease. Meantime, the Michigan National Guard is on the ground in Flint to hand out supplies, but they're already dealing with a shortage. We have Team 7 coverage for you of the Flint water crisis. We're going to begin with 7 investigator Jim Kirchner and Jim, the governor called all of this a disaster. Yeah, 87 cases in the last two years, 2014, 2015, four times the norm from previous years. The governor getting out in front of this one, all because it could be tied to the use of Flint River water in Flint. I, that's correct, Jim. There's investigations still going on to try to make those determinations. But from a scientific or medical point of view, I don't believe that determination can be made today. Just when you thought it was bad, now it's worse. The switch from Detroit water to using Flint River water back in April of 2014 to save money, done by the governor's emergency manager. By the numbers in 2014, 45 cases of Legionnaire's disease with seven of those deaths. Last year, 42 cases with three deaths. The governor's saying he's put this revelation out there now because he just learned about it. Just to follow up, if it is determined that it's related to the Flint River switch, how diabolical and, and disastrous is that in your mind? Governor? That just adds to the disaster we already are facing with respect to elevated lead levels. Legionnaire's disease is caused by breathing in water or vapors that contain mold or bacteria that then grows in the lungs. State investigation shows Flint River water was being used in about half of the 45 documented cases in 2014. But get this, state officials today are not recommending a stop to using Flint water, including for bathing and showering. This seemed to be tied to what we call, I'm going to use this, sorry for the epidemiologic term, point sources, but, but areas that may have been hot spots. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Now, as this crisis continues to build, we've been asking the governor for weeks to live up to his pledge to be open and honest. What did he know and when did he know it? We hit him with that again here this afternoon in Midtown. His answer might surprise you. You'll see it next hour at 6. For now, I am live in Midtown. Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, Jim, we're looking forward to your report coming up at 6.